What's up, Slayers and Players? Welcome back to this series that helps you decide what the difference is between your ass and a hole in the ground. I'm your host, Curdle Mustard, and uh, let's get started with something a little different today. The Cleveland, the new Tier 8. Now, I think I was playing this the day after the patch, um, and I'm playing ranked, so double different. And one of the first things you're going to notice on that it's my first game We'll pause it right here. Number one, yes, I just I was trying to type in chat, telling people what I planned on doing, and I fat fingered uh, my defensive AA and radar. Not a big deal. There's no there's no aircraft carriers, so defensive AA. But I did blow a radar. And if you pay attention, I'm not running premium consumables in a rank game. I forgot to equip them. Because typically what I do is, if I don't fully equip a ship, I don't put camo on it. But this ship had camo on it, and I thought my consumables were good to go. They were not. That's going to become a problem later in the game, trust me. Alright, and now we're also going to look at, we're going to unpause it real quick. Now that we've gone over my first two big mistakes of this game. And we're going to look at the lineup. Now, the first thing you're going to know is they got two... The, uh, we got the better... As far as the ships go, the better lineup. The players, maybe not. We'll find out. Uh, but we do have a better lineup. A Richelieu is not a very strong Tier 8 battleship. Uh, its dispersion is so wonky that you either... Sometimes you'll get some magical hits, but 9 times out of 10, you miss shots that any other battleship would hit. Bismarck, against the Cleveland... it can be troublesome but not a big deal but they got two clevelands two edinburgh's and i don't know why after patch day everyone was playing their edinburgh's i know i'm pronouncing that wrong but we'll get over it and uh we have a yo lang and a benson um benson should not should not go to sea in this situation i did try to like rally some of my where i was going to rally some of my team to actually like contest c so we don't lose it um but i Completely screwed up what I was trying to type by activating all my consumables. So we're going to go ahead and unpause. We know what the threats are, pretty much everything. And we're going to move on. Now, fat fingering aside, I still got two charges of defensive AA, which is going to be absolutely useless. Uh, but I only have one radar left, so I got to be smart about it. And the entire time I'm going to be, I'm thinking, well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> I have to make that radar charge count. <laughs> and the, the the reload on it, it's going to be ridiculous. So right now, we're going through, and I'm, I'm immediately going to be, because everyone kind of hold in the rank, typically in rank. Now, this is my, not necessarily the first rank game I played this season, but the first one I played in, like, weeks. I didn't have a huge interest in playing ranked. I just finished grinding a year of tier eights, and I am so burnt out on the tier. I haven't really wanted to play it, but trying out the Cleveland in it gave me a reason to play. So I played the Cleveland in some ranked games. I think I also played some. I played a lot of Otago as well. Uh, the last three days that ranked was still alive, I played it. Um, I did really well. I went from, and then three days, I went from rank 16 to rank 9, and then kind of gave up and played with some uh, returning friends of the game um, at tier 8 and various other tiers. I think we seal clubbed a little bit too. But right now, I'm following the Edinburgh, and I'm thinking, man, if this guy's got smoke, we well, can take a really aggressive position. And I think I asked him it in chat, either now or already did. I don't remember. But I'm, I'm thinking. That would be pretty mean. I mean, yeah, they got a lot of Clevelands and stuff, but if we can get them to open, if our other ships behind us can get them to open fire, we we have a pretty good DPM blob. It's not going to happen. Uh, this Edinburgh is... He's not bad, but he's not... He's His decision-making is questionable. And there I ask him, you're smoke-eating or radar one. Um... Yeah, their Yo Yo Lang should have definitely went for C. I'm kind of checking what's going on behind me. We have one Cleveland going to C. I don't like his odds. Um, I mean, you need so you, is, Cleveland is a supportive ship, not a solo ship. 
I'm going to prove that statement wrong by the end of this game. But right now, I'm kind of inching forward. I want to see if I can maybe get some pot shots as I cut across this island. I got the Bismarck. Reasonable. His guns aren't looking at me, so I'm going to just dump some shots. Two ships are aiming at me, but I'm not super concerned. I got a pretty good angle on anything that could hit me. Um, the big threats are obviously the Richelieu, Bismarck, the battleships that can get, you know, cheeky citadels on me. And it's right about this point. I see the Richelieu's shots, so I go ahead and turn. I want to get on the other side of this island. I, if this Edinburgh does have smoke, I'd like to use it. And I'm still spotted now. I'm radar spotted. And that's really key. Because that means something in A has decided, hey, now's a great time to use radar. Or Hydro, as our Yo Lang is rushing super hard. I see it, but I know I'm not going to be able to do much for that. He's going to the other side, kind of chasing our Benson, but it's going to be... So instead, I go, I have pretty good DPM, let's put it to work. And this is my first game in the in the new Cleveland, so keep that in mind. I do try AP quite a bit in this replay to see how effective it is, if they changed any of the values, does it still feel like the Tier 6 AP, or did they buff it a little bit? And I'm also getting used to aiming it. But the core idea is, yes, I do not hit necessarily all my uh, shots. But the core idea of this game is mainly my decision making corresponding to what our team is doing. So there's another Cleveland that jumps out. Now, this is a tactic I use a lot in the Hindenburg when I'm in the open water. Is I will back up toward the enemy. This gives me the option to retreat and run away if I need to accelerate. Um, and it also kind of, for some reason, it really screws with people's aim. I, I have done this. Uh, I learned this when I played the, uh, I think the Hipper was the one I, that I first started doing this, found out it was really effective. You can do this in any really open water ship uh, or any, and I say any open water ship, ships that actually can handle themselves in open water. I wouldn't really try to do this in a Des Moines Mosfa can get away with it, but there's some ships that really just can't. They're too lightly armored or whatever other reason. And yes, the Cleveland is very lightly armored. However, it's uh, it's kind of troll armor. Either you get a bunch of overpens or you like dev strike it. There's, it's kind of weird how it works. And I know because I've, I've fought a lot against a lot of them in my cron. So I'm just farming damage on the Bismarck at this point. I haven't really paused anything until this point except that lineup because right now I'm just going back and forth back and forth I'm trying to maintain roughly this position to where I can keep my DPM rolling this is something I do in a Hindenburg very frequently this is yeah, I do it in the Zao I do it in a lot of ships and right now I'm just trying to keep DPM rolling I'm waiting to see how my team settles out and here we come to our first kind of issue. That Cleveland died at sea. He died a little while ago, but they have two caps. And we are lemming training toward the north. Right now, I am supporting the team by creating um, essentially consistent DPM. But that ain't going to be enough to win this game. And at some point, I'm going to have to make sure that our flanks don't close on us we have a lemming train right now now the edinburgh has got the right idea so this decision the edinburgh is making is actually not bad he is saying well we can't just leave b open and i go hey that's a pretty damn good idea so i'm coming over to help him my entire goal is to help this edinburgh and try to keep him alive because their team isn't pushing very heavily against us and so we have to push them to get C. And they have two battleships sitting there. I'm going to try to get some cheeky shots against this Bismarck. See if I can snake in a fire. And I know I spoke about the DPM I was trying to maintain through that first part. I've mainly given up on that because I'm only done 23k. And I've probably fired over 300 shells. Give or take. And right now, I'm trying to get into position to help this. Because if you see this Edinburgh, he's now getting jumped by an, an Edinburgh and a Cleveland. 
or Edinburgh or whatever they pronounce it. So I'm going to harass this Cleveland a bit, maybe get him off the Edinburgh. And you'd be surprised how strong just a, a simple distraction like this can be because that Edinburgh was broadside to the Cleveland. The Cleveland was forced to address me. It may, it may or may not have saved the Edinburgh. It's up for debate. But now I, the Edin, this Edinburgh is the is the most important target. I need to deal with him. I need to keep him alive. And the Allied Edinburgh keeps giving broadside. This this guy isn't bad. He knows how to maintain his angle. He doesn't really he, he flashes his broadside, but then quickly hides it. You know, I even loaded AP there to see what I could do. Going back to HE now, he's showing broadside. I switch back. Again, I'm trying to find out what the effective range of this uh, AP is. Other Cleveland's retreating a bit. And I remember, I blew my first radar of the game. I'm waiting for this guy to disappear so that I can radar him. This seemed like the best best time to radar. I'm detected, he isn't, and he's the guy I want to focus on. Of course, our Edinburgh is shooting at the Cleveland rather than the, that allied, and I knew those torps were coming a long time ago. Anytime an Edinburgh gives you broadside, you just assume torps. Probably should have mentioned it sooner, but hey. I do chunk some shots of that Cleveland. I kind of want to make sure he knows that I'm still aware that he's there, so he may not join this fight. And at this point, I'm looking. I got I got three ships in front of me, and the Edinburgh is running away, not helping whatsoever. He has completely abandoned me against three, possibly four ships. And at this point, I'm I'm saying I'm going to get undetected. I'm absolutely going to get undetected. I'm going to use this smoke screen. I'm going to turn around, and maybe I'm at just over half health. I need to find a... And I do pop Hydro here just in case that Edinburgh dumps some torps in this direction. Because this is, I'm vulnerable to torps at this moment. And I need to see what I need to do. Um, B still needs to be defended, but C it could be up for the taking, depending on what the other team does. Edinburgh has roughly a, a similar detection range as me. It's a little better. Um, but right now, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a quick pause. The Edinburgh bailed from assisting me to, I guess, go head-to-head -head against the Richelieu. And we're going to find out how that decision-making ends up turning out. He made a great decision, like trying to defend B, and then he follows it up with uh, with this. Oh, it's it's going to happen soon. Don't don't worry. I believe that Edinburgh right there does not have defend uh, does not have a concealment expert because there's no way in it. he didn't shoot. So there's no way I should have spotted him at that range. Either doesn't have a concealment expert or isn't running the. Oh, and there he goes. Edinburgh's dead. Uh, Richelieu, not a massive gun threat. We did lose our NC somehow. Um, and our Richelieu is one on one another Richelieu, but the Charles Martel is helping him. Now, I see this broadside Edinburgh. He definitely is not either, doesn't have the skilled captain or doesn't have the right module set up, and I can outspot him. And that, I don't really know where those went. So I'm aiming a little higher, hoping to get a, some more decent chunks off him this is not the edinburgh i just fought so i'm still conscious that the other edinburgh could be nearby so i'm trying to angle and i do end up doing like i think like 10k total damage against him and at this point i wanted to i want to disengage again i'm at i'm not in a position i want to be in i want to disengage so i can move closer and i want to use these islands to get closer to be to either contest it fight for it, one or the other i don't like our odds right now uh, in general just just not happy with them and we don't know where four of their ships are I don't like not having information so I need to play a little defensive but I do want to get close I do want to get to B I need to find an advantage in this battle and boom we just get a ton of information Cleveland is at A and there's a Benson and a Charles Martel uh, Benson being that close to an island, well, he didn't, 
I mean, I'm not going to chastise him for that. I mean, he, he may have, if he had an inclination that the guy was there, maybe he could have surprised him, but it's a Cleveland. I mean, it, it shits on DBs in close range. Um, our Richelieu is in a tough spot. There's a Yo Lang and an Edinburgh that were just spotted right next to him. So my immediate thought is I need to help him. I need to help him as much as possible. I don't care what I have to do. And I, I think at this point I kind of abandon AP. Because he's going to heat, that Edinburgh is going to heat up, heal up. And I need, I need to just keep putting damage on him. Keep putting damage on him. I, I got to be unrelenting here. I'm aware that there's possibly another Edinburgh there. I see the Yo Lang. I take a crap shot on him. And I stagger, I stagger it. Because I know he's, he's either going to maneuver, he's going to do something. But I only need a couple hits to hit, hit him. And I do. Now it's just getting rid of this Edinburgh. Richelieu doesn't really pay attention to that both those ships had torps and I think he took some and he's got that Edinburgh there now I know I can angle against the the Edinburgh north of me but I need to take out this one I get a fire and he repairs it immediately I know if I can get one or two fires I got this guy and actually my overall HE damage if I can land decent hits which I'm not quite doing I'm still getting used to the uh, arcs again and it's not just a matter of getting used to the the arcs from tier six to tier eight. They're no different. It's just ships move faster at tier at tier eight. So I got that other fire. I know he's dead. I got a second fire, and boom. Now something big happened that I uh, I, I got a miss to commentate on. I honestly thought that Charles Martel was going to get wrecked by the Cleveland. Hundred percent thought he was going to. And I was at this point in the game, I was like, <laughs> he lived. Holy shit. We might win this. And I go, okay, so all I have to do is outplay one Edinburgh and this shit's over. He's going to try to get undetected, so he's going to back up. He's going to stop firing. He might get undetected, which he does. But I, I'm, I, I got AP loaded and I'm ready. I know in close range at Tier 6, Cleveland is an AP monster. Let's see how it goes here. And at Tier 8, against something that lightly armored, Kaching. Not as many as I wanted. Now I, now we'll pause it here, and I'm gonna get more citadels. He is absolutely torp me, 100%. He is torp me, and I don't need Hydra to tell me this. I know exactly where he's torped, and all I gotta go is where he's going. That's all I give a shit about. I know for a fact he's torped, and there they are. And I'm looking at him, I go, I could probably do this with my front guns. I don't need to expose myself more than I already have. I, already, I did secure a high caliber from that. And then this is going to be the ending kill. Ka-ching. Game over. See you later. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like and subscribe.